Welcome back. Well, we didn't have any fresh ride take place over the last weekend. There was a bit of weather got in the way, so we're digging back into the archives. This time we're in the South Island, heading up the west coast. Now, this particular clip's going to cover highlights from the journey from Haast through to Franz Joseph Village. It's about 140 k's, and we took a couple of hours to do it. We had a stop along the way at uh, Bruce Bay, but in the meantime, we travel up the west coast in what was some pretty spectacular or spectacularly fine weather uh, by West Coast standards. We were absolutely expecting rain to fall, there was none, and uh, we just had a great time riding through the really quite different landscape here. The West Coast of New Zealand, South Island, is uh, very much defined by the uh, location with the Tasman Sea to the west and the Southern Alps to the east. So as we're traveling up here to the left-hand side is the Tasman Sea, to the right the Southern Alps and the prevailing weather patterns which bring that moisture laden water across the Tasman Sea typically dumps on the west coast before it then rises up over the Southern Alps and then down the other side to the Canterbury Plains making dry conditions over there. The rain releases on this side which is why the area is pretty green. Uh, they get a lot of rainfall here, it's quite well renowned for it. So we were doubly pleased when we didn't really strike any wet weather at all on our couple of days when we were riding up the coast. Now we are riding with a kind of expanded crew here. This was our ride back crew from the Southern Raw. We'd uh, just been in Cromwell for a few days having a uh, tent of the hog rally there. And on the way back we hooked up with some members from Christchurch Hog. We were led out by our mate Rex who led us through up and over. There's been some other videos about uh, the rides leading up to this particular point and we're actually on our way to a little town called Ross but this video is going to take us through up until the uh, we arrive at the Franz Joseph uh, village. Now it's only looking back through this footage and this was filmed in November of last year so November 2022. Uh, looking back through this footage it just uh, brought it all back reminded me just what a beautiful ride this is. What a great countryside. The roads were in pretty good condition. I don't know what they're like now around the country with the storms we've been having. I think the South Island was spared some of the uh, ravages that we had in the North Island so I would hope that this road is still in the same kind of shape that we're seeing here because this is a ride to remember and to do again. Um, if you're in a four-wheel traveling mode then also it'd be fantastic with a car. You could you know, stop all over the place but in a bike you get to breathe it all in, you get to see it and feel it. It's just a fabulous place and we uh, certainly were able to enjoy it because as I've mentioned many times now I'll stop. Uh, but the weather was unbelievable. Uh, many of the riders here who've ridden this particular road a number of times said uh, we must have been bringing some good luck with us because it's not very often you get conditions like this. So we'll take it. Now just prior to setting off on this particular leg of the journey, we had stopped for a break at the Hard Antler Hotel or pub in Haast and enjoyed a memorable lunch which was made very special by choosing from the menu, cleverly, a white bait uh, fritter sandwich. Best white bait fritter ever. If you haven't heard of them then travel to the west coast and get yourself something there. I don't know if they're seasonal uh, but certainly they were in the November and uh, we enjoyed fabulous. So fed and watered we hit the road for this particular leg, passed through to Franz Joseph. We took another little uh, just leg shaker here, Bruce Bay, we just stopped the bikes, had a bit of a look around, stretched the legs before making the uh, next roll through to uh, Franz Joseph Village. So in the meantime we're traveling through well, as you can see, it's a variety of lowland forest. There's not plantation forest around here. It's pretty much natural native forest for the most part up the west coast. It hasn't really ever been developed and cleared out like it has on the other side of the Alps, where it's been turned to pasture. Um, maybe because the region's a little bit more inaccessible, a little bit wilder. It's uh, quite inconsistent on the weather front. And so for those reasons, it probably remain clear of the uh, intensive agriculture efforts that happen on the other side of the Southern Alps and throughout the North Island. What the industry was here in the early 1800s was gold, um, gold prospecting, gold mining, followed by coal which remained a 
a key employment source for the West Coast for uh, a very, very long time. Uh, as well as that, forestry, trees. So initially, of course, forestry for wood and milling purposes, and more recently, a growing trend towards forestry for conservation means to uh, work hand in hand with the uh, ecotourism that is uh, one of the big tourism employers now on the West Coast. And as you can see, there's plenty of material here to work with or to go and visit to see. It's a, a spectacular region, no question about that. I should probably tell you a little bit about where we're going to. Next, our next stop is going to be the Franz Joseph village or town, very small town in the west coast. Now it's defined by, oh well, to the Franz Joseph Glacier, very close to it, and uh, just a little bit further south of it, the Fox Glacier, both of them sites that um, are great tourist attractions. There are helicopter flights, you can do glacier walks, etc. And as with all of the glaciers, they all seem to be retreating somewhat. Climate change has taken an effect, so if you do want to see these wonders of nature, don't wait too long. They might not be there for uh, for as long as you might uh, like to think. Uh, anyway, on, on that dark note, we'll uh, come back to the road itself that we're enjoying riding on. As you can see, the roads here, they're a little bit different than the North Island. They seem to be a little bit more well maintained, very few potholes. And uh, they're enjoyable riding. There's no uh, broken undulations. Don't quite know the reason whether they're using better material down here because they have harsh winters or not. I don't know, but uh, sure is a pleasure to ride on. I, uh, I do recommend it. And just like that, with the aid of a little bit of editing, we're coming close to the end of this 140 kilometer journey and very soon we're going to be heading through the final few twists and turns and across the final bridge that leads into the Franz Joseph uh, Township itself. And yeah, very enjoyable ride. We didn't spend long in Franz Joseph. We uh, stretched the legs, had a few drinks, a couple of quick bites to eat as we cross over the Waiho Bailey Bridge and uh, parked up and then went off on our next leg which was a non-stop run through to the town of Ross. This was quite a tiring ride this day. I remember we felt pretty knackered by the time we got to Ross, but as far as distance travelled, it wasn't really terribly far. I think the day's travelling was around 450 kilometres in total. Good paced riding, uh, led out by Rex from the Christchurch Hog chapter. And it's been great fun riding with Rex and the Christchurch Hog crew. Um, along with our, I think we had six bikes. Six bikes, eight souls for our Auckland group riding back up the island. Anyway, here we are, parking the bikes, and I will close this one out. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed this uh, step back in time. And uh, in the meantime, in the real day, safe riding out there, ride safe, have fun. See you next time.